In this video lesson, we're going to look at how we can group information in a query using functions such as sum, count, average, max, and minimum. Let's have a look at some data. I've got a table here of properties. Perhaps it's a letting agency or an estate agent. And we've got the town that the property is in. We've got the type of premises and we've got the price. Imagine if we could very quickly find out the average price of all the properties in Keswick or the minimum price of the properties in Newcastle. That's what this video is going to show us how to do. We're still working with queries, so we're going to create a simple query in Design View and add the table that we're interested in. We'll just get rid of this properties box. OK. I've added the fields of interest, the town that the property is in, and the price of the property. Now let's see if we can group all the properties together and perhaps find the, the total price of all the properties in each town. We do this by switching on the totals row. It's down here. We don't have a totals row. We can switch it on and off using the totals icon on the icon bar or the toolbar. Clicking it once, switches on the totals row. Clicking it again, switches the totals row off. We need the totals row on. See, it puts this group by. So what that means is, and we can change that. So it says group by the town or city. So it'll bring together all the properties in Newcastle, all the properties in Keswick. And then choose what we want to do with that group. Well, I want to sum. That means add up the values in the price field. Let's have a look and see what that's done. See, it's grouped all the records together. There's now only one entry for Keswick. And it says the total price of all the properties in Keswick is £114,000. The total price of all the properties in York is £178,000. Let's have a look and see the effect where we can combine that with criteria. So perhaps we only want to find the properties in York. So we can put that into the criteria field. And when we have a look, we can see there we are just in York. The total price of properties is 178000 If we didn't have the totals row on, we'll take it off. Then we're in a normal, simple select query process now. We have a look at that data. You can see there's there's only two records, but each individual record is shown. 178,000. Using the grouping, however, group by town or city, only show the records for York, and add up all the values. 178,000. Let's remove the criteria for York and have a look at what else we can do. We can find the maximum value, for example. The maximum value of properties in each and every town. There we are. The highest value in concert is 240,000. Let's just clear the grid. That just removes all the fields from our grid at the bottom and build that up again. Let's put the switch the totals off. Put the town or city in, the type of premises and the price of the premises. And let's have a look at the data. If I just sort by town or city, you'll see that some of the towns, for example, there's Durham has got four different records. It's got manufacturing room, office rooms, two, two office rooms, and a store. If we switch the totals back on, what we can do is group by the town. So group all those towns together, then group by the type of premises. So we'll put all the similar premises together. And then let's find, for each type of premises, the average price. So this is going to show us the average price 
for each type of premises in each tongue. And you can see the information there. Let's have a look at Durham again. In Durham, the average price of the manufacturing room premises is 75000 The average price of the office premises is 87500 So just have a look at all those possibilities again. We can sum, we can average, minimum, maximum, count. And then there's a few functions there that you'll not need to know about and not need to use.